Hello, hello, everyone. Okay. So I got Chinese today. They don't know it yet, but Samara's up there. And they don't know it yet. So I have the, their parents use the collars with the remotes. Um, now they don't, I take, I only wear, put the collars on them um, when I take them for a walk because they also have their tags on them. So as soon as we come back from our walk, um, I take it off of them just to give them a break from it. But um, they know the sound. That's what the, the parents train them on, on the collars. So I have it sitting here just in case they notice that she's up there because they will freak and then she'll go run and I might have to help. <laughs> but anyway, I got Chinese today and, oh, it's leaking. Okay. I'm going to leave that in there for the time being, but I got six egg rolls, the vegetable egg rolls. For the first time ever, I got crab rangoons. Never had them before. Um, oh my goodness, they gave a whole bunch of... Oh my goodness. Whoa. Whoa. We got some fortune cookies. Yum. What is in here? Oh, okay. Ooh, that is greasy. <laughs> so I think because I got six egg rolls, there might be three and three. And then I got a large, I got a large shrimp fried rice. Yum. I can't look at all the sauces they gave. But it's, my hands are greasy. <laughs> okay, so that's everything. Oh my. All right. So <laughs> that is a lot. So I ordered, I still, I did do, I did use Grubhub today because I still had the credits from the duck donuts incident. So I figured I'm just going to go all out and I can eat this again tomorrow. Let's, I'm going to get all of this onto the plate and then I will give you guys a close-up. Ooh, that looks good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I love this Chinese place. And to me, this, this heats up very well reheats I should say what I do with the um the egg rolls is I just put them in the oven and then the shrimp fried rice I just use the reheat button on the microwave put a damp paper towel on it get a shrimp on top so you guys can see Okay, I think when I put this away, I'm going to have to get some more napkins. So that's still a lot left. I might be able to get three meals out of that. And it's still hot. Okay, so I've never had the crab rangoons before. Look at that deliciousness. Okay, let's eat. I am hungry. So how are you guys today? I hope that you all are doing well. I honestly can't believe that they don't know she's up there yet. <laughs> Actually, there. Definitely gonna need, might end up needing some more napkins. All right, let's try this. Mmm. 
It's all good. Mm, mm, mm. I have not, I don't think anyway, I don't think I've had Chinese since the last video I did for you guys. Or, I should say since the last Chinese video I did for you guys. You know who just jumped up onto the counter, that's what that noise was. She's chewing on her bone. Or, actually it's a toy. Let's try one of these. Mmm. Wow. That is really good. I don't know if they used imitation crab meat. You can't tell, but it's nice and creamy. Definitely tastes onion, garlic. Mmm. Where have they been all my life? Can't believe <laughs> I'm at the age I am and have never had the crab rang rangoons before. And these are just vegetable egg rolls. They're big. Mm. Delicious. I always just get the vegetable ones, but mm, they're so good. Remember being that big. Love them. I love the outside, the crispy. Mm. <laughs> I can even make a mess with Chinese food. So good. I don't like the, I don't know, are they called spring rolls? So the one that it's like a soft outer. I don't like those. I like the deep, I like the fried ones. So nothing new has been going on with me. <clears throat> Just been having, watching the pups the past few days. That's about it. She'll be done with that bone soon. If not, I might have to take it from her while I'm recording this. I don't know how loud it's going to be for you guys. Actually, 
So, almost thought I was going to have to take Sebastian to the vet yesterday. He had a, another day where it actually started early in the morning where he was just fed him the first meal when I got up. Um, he vomited that up. And then he would go and drink some water. He probably, probably vomited like four times yesterday. So when that happens, when it's like that, I should say, when he has one of the bad days, he just, he doesn't want to eat. And so I gave him fluids. And I have all kinds of different foods down there to try to offer. Even the chicken that I made for him, the uh, chicken thighs, didn't want to eat those. Um, I had cut them up for him. So then I was like, I remember with my previous Siamese, he had kidney disease and hyperthyroid too. Um, I know it got to a point where I had to give him baby food, at least to get something in him. And so my daughter on her way home from work yesterday stopped at the store and got some beech nut chicken. So it's just chicken and broth in it. That's it. N you know, no other ingredients. So he did eat that and then he did, he was fine the rest of the evening, but So about 7, around 7 a.m. until about 5 p.m. I even told him, like, he might have to go to the vet. So he ate a full jar last night, and then right before bed, I gave him some of his usual food. The Wuruva, Wuruva, WX. Um, put some of the, the beech nut baby food on top and he ate it. So he's been fine since, thank goodness. But I think I'm gonna... I gave him 50 milliliters of fluid yesterday. And I think today I'm gonna give him another 50 just because of how much he was vomiting yesterday. Um, he's doing good today. He's eating normally, but I am still putting some of the baby food on top of his food Just not as much as last evening It just stinks like I have back issues and neck um, I have bulging, well, my lower back, the very last disc L5S1, there's no disc material left at all, so it's bone on bone, and then all the way up to L3, bulging disc, all that nonsense, and then same thing in my neck. But I remember my back issues started in my 20s. And, you know, it, it runs in the family as well. And I remember when it would first start, it would be like, you know, your back would hurt for a couple of days and then it would go away and it would be away. Like I wouldn't have any back pain for, you know, a month or two. And then as my back got worse, you know, over time, you know, then it's like, you know, you'll have one week instead of like a couple a day or two or a couple days of pain 
you'll have like a week straight of pain and then it'll go away for a couple weeks but it, it gets closer and closer together to where like now I have back pain every single day um, I've had the nerve pain oh my goodness that was horrible nerve pain it was when it was pinching a nerve L5 S1 and the pain it went all the way back down my leg I still have numbness not bad but um, back when I had that pain that was horrible I cried like it I feel like nerve pain was way worse than like even having my daughter I had my daughter naturally and that was painful nerve pain way worse way worse um, thank goodness I haven't I haven't had nerve pain in quite a few years but I do still have some numbness like uh oh she's gonna see her <laughs> like on my right below my my buttocks my butt cheek <laughs> there's a little bit of numbness um, back of my leg my calf and my foot there's still slight numbness so when you have something that is chronic It gets to a point where you don't have many good days in between those breaks, you know, that it becomes chronic, so then you have daily pain. Well, it's the same thing with cats with kidney disease. Um, when Sebastian was diagnosed with hyperthyroid, he really wasn't even having many symptoms. And then earlier this year, was it this year? Yeah, it gets to a point where it's like every day, and I think he was diagnosed this year with the kidney disease earlier this year. And he didn't even have really any symptoms except for drinking a little bit more water. Um, but I can tell since the beginning of the year, he's starting to have more, he's having more bad days as opposed to once every couple months. Like, so it was yesterday and then last week, I think I told y'all last week he had a day, but that one only last, I think it was in the evening when he got sick and then the next day he was fine. But I feel like it's definitely happening, happening more. So he's sitting up on the counter right now. So yeah, I think his, unfortunately his kidneys are getting worse if I had to guess. I need to. I need to get him to the vet. I have one credit card. I don't want any more. So I have that. I really don't want to use it because while I'm off work, just in case I need it, but because that's going to probably be like a $700 vet bill. What I can recommend to you all, if you get a kitten, just get the insurance. My daughter has insurance for pet insurance for Stormy. It's definitely good to get it when they're young and healthy because, you know, like I can't get. I mean, I probably could, but it would be outrageous, but I don't think they cover pre-existing conditions, so they wouldn't cover anything, you know, kidney-related or thyroid-related. I, I wish I would have done it. Oh, and this is um, Gold Peak Raspberry Tea. So yeah, I'll give him fluids again today. Another 50. And then, well, I'm going to do a grocery haul because my daughter picked up some of the cans or the jars of baby food and then I had a Walmart delivery order today and I got, they had a case of 12, I think six turkey and six chicken. So I got those just to make sure I have them. These are so good. Mm -mm -mm. 
Never had them before in my life. And I've been missing out. It's kind of... Mmm. It's kind of sweet. I wonder if they put some sugar in it. I do think it is possibly um, imitation crap, but you can't tell. They have it really finely chopped. I just saw a piece of the color of the crab. Of the crab had a little bit of red on it, like you know the imitation crab. But it's good. I will definitely get these again. Uh, let's go in for the. This is meal is definitely satisfying my Chinese craving. I can't believe look how big these are. They're huge. I honestly, I still can't believe they don't know she's up there. Well, if it if they happen to notice, you're gonna see it on the video. Mm. I'm making a mess. So yeah, no jobs yet. I'm telling you, it is crazy. It is hard. Mm -mm. If if any of you out there are currently in the middle of looking for jobs like is it hard for you no matter what I do to my resume and I even use um, chat what is it GPT to, to help like because you have to change it with each job And I'm like, when I change it, I'm like, yeah, that looks good. And then I apply to a job and I get declines. Or we've, we've went with another, I forget what, what the word that they use. I think applicant. And I'm like, man. Um, the crazy thing is, you know, college was like, would you like to have help? Uh oh. No, I think they gave me some wrong. This one has meat in it. No. Oh, man. Oh, it does. And I don't know what kind of meat. I didn't think the first one did. Oh, man. <laughs> I couldn't even tell until I just looked at it. Man. Oh, well. is pork. It's definitely meat in there. I hope they're not all like that. Yep. Definitely meat. I think it's pork.
You can see it right there, some of it dropped out. I really, really, really hope that they're not. I don't think the first one, I think the first one was all vegetable. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Definitely onion, garlic. Nice and crunchy outside. But it is definitely sweet too. Like cream cheese. I, wonder, I think they might put some sugar in it. They're delicious though. Mm-hmm. I remember... When I did do DoorDash for a while, well, DoorDash and Grubhub, a lot of orders would have those in it, the crab rangoons in the order. And I often wondered what they were because a lot of people got them. Mm. Let me tell you all. I don't remember if I told y'all in the beginning. So my total, because I did have some credits and because I spent over, I think it was over, either, it was either if you spend over 20 or was it 25, you got $3 off. So I got $3, $3 off. I had some credits as well. So, but the grand total for everything that you saw here when I started this video was $31.27 and again, it was the crab rangoons, um, six egg rolls, and then shrimp fried rice, a large of uh, the shrimp fried rice. So that, that was what I got today. And rating this shrimp fried rice, 10 out of 10, at least from this restaurant. I love this, this restaurant. Those crab rangoons, 10 out of 10 for sure. I'm not too happy about the meat <laughs> in this one. Um, so I hope they're not all like that. But I would say the, the vegetable ones without the meat are definitely a 10 out of 10. I'm just not big on pork. <laughs> That's why if you notice, like my, my recipes, I will eat like my favorite when it comes to pork is like the um the boneless country style spare ribs pork ribs those are my favorite i can do a pork roast but it has to be tender that's why you don't see me eating like pork chops and stuff like that but yeah that's why you don't see me eating a lot of pork It looks kind of you see it looks kind of like red. I don't think I can finish. Here, let me see if you guys can see it. Let's see if we hold up a napkin behind it. Would that help? Come on, focus. There. It's like right. I don't know. I don't.
Nah. <laughs> I think I'm done with that. I really hope the rest of them aren't like that. I'm not definitely not going to bite into all of them. I'll find out tomorrow when I reheat them. See, here's some of the pieces fell. <laughs> I don't, it looks like there might be a couple different meats. I don't know, like. Some of it looks like. I'm <laughs> sorry, you guys. Oh. Okay. <coughs> but anyway. My daughter's birthday is this month. Virgo. She is definitely a Virgo. <laughs> definitely a Virgo. brother-in-law's birthday is this month as well. My one sister's birthday is this month. Lots of September birthdays. Let's have a it's greasy. Let's have a fortune cookie. Actually, look at the grease on my fingers. <laughs> Alright, I might have to oh no, my video is almost done, so I really hope it's still recording. My, I noticed my mouse was dead or my battery in my mouse. All right, fortune cookie time. You know what I used to do, you guys? I haven't done it in a long time, but I would order fortune cookies on Amazon, like big bags of them. And for the longest time, I was on a fortune cookie kick. That was my, that's what I snacked on was fortune cookies. Okay, let's see what my fortune says. Cherish the moments when you can be authentic. They are liberating to remember. Cherish the moments when you can be authentic. They are liberating to remember. I like that. Lucky numbers for the lucky one. 51, 45, 19, 26, 42, 18. There's some lottery numbers for you. Mmm. So simple, but so good. My ring is... Going off today. I was able to open the windows yesterday and the day before but I just had to turn the air back on. And of course, her eyes, the day I open the windows, her eyes start getting red. So she got medicine yesterday, today, yes, no, two days ago, yesterday, and today. So she's definitely, definitely, or she definitely has outdoor allergy, or she's allergic to something outside, which I think is the ragweed. Mm -mm -mm. Do any of you guys save these? I save them. But that was delicious. Except for the meat egg roll. I really hope. I know the I don't think the first one had it. I really hope that the other four do not have meat in them. <laughs> 
but I love that restaurant. I still give the restaurant 10 out of 10. They're, I think their Chinese food is really good. Those crab rangoons, oh my goodness, delicious. I will definitely get those again. Shrimp fried rice, that's what I always get. It was delicious. And that is all I have for you guys today. I hope that you guys have a great day and a great rest of your week. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.